Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from toptipbio.com and in this video I will show you how you can insert a picture into a graph or layout page in PRISM. Inserting pictures into PRISM is useful especially when you want to create a multi-panel figure for a manuscript. In one of the panels you may wish to add a schematic, for example, while in the other panels you may wish to add different graphs created in PRISM. This can be achieved by inserting the schematic as a picture into PRISM and placing this on a layout page with the other graphs of interest. In the example shown on screen, figure A in this panel is a schematic of a gene promoter region, whereas the other figures, B to E, are graphs visualising data from in vitro experiments. So I'll now show you within PRISM how I inserted this schematic into this picture. So within PRISM, I have a layout page open. So to insert a picture, with a graph or layout window open, simply go to insert import picture if inserting a picture to a graph or insert import if inserting a picture to a layout page. Now since I have a layout page open, I'll go to insert and then import at the bottom. And then you want to find the picture that you want to insert into PRISM. Now PRISM in Windows can import a range of image files. Common examples include TIFF, JPEG, PNG, GIF, PSD and PDF files. If you are using PRISM Mac, you can import TIFF, BMP, JPEG, PCT or Macintosh PICT, PNG and PDF files. So I'll insert this promoter region schematic that I have prepared earlier, which is a PNG file, and then click open. It is also worth mentioning that there is another way that you can insert a picture into PRISM and that is to use the copy and paste function. For example, say you had an image open in another program such as Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. You can right click and copy that image within the program and then within PRISM you simply right click and then select paste picture and this will paste the picture into PRISM. So now you can see the schematic has been inserted into the layout page in PRISM. And if I click on the picture, you'll notice that there are four blue squares in each corner of the picture. And this is because the picture is classed as an object within inside PRISM. So you can click and drag on these squares to change the size of the image. So for example, I can make it smaller and I can click and drag to move the picture around on the layout page itself. And by doing this, PRISM will keep the same image ratio on the picture. Therefore, it won't distort the image. However, if you hold the shift button down whilst click and dragging on one of the blue squares, you can change the height and the width independently. However, notice that the ratios will then change, so you could easily distort the image. There is also a green circle at the top of the image when the image is selected, and this is the rotate option. So if I move the image a bit more in the middle and then click and drag on this green circle, you notice that I can change the angle by rotating the image. So I will click and drag the schematic into the white space and notice it's still slightly too big so I'm just going to again go to this blue square and then just make it a bit smaller. That's a little bit better now so it sits in that space nicely. So that's changing the image by using the click and drag options. So if you prefer, you can actually type in the desired size of the image, the rotation angle and any cropping. And to do this, simply right click on the picture and then go to Format Image. And a new dialog box will open and here you can fine tune the appearance of the image. For example, you can give the image a border and you can change the thickness, the color and the style of that border. You can specify where on the page the image is going to be and you can enter this in centimeters. Instead of using the click and drag rotation tool, you can actually enter a rotation angle if you want to fine tune this angle further. You can change the scaling of the image. As it is, you can change these numbers and PRISM will keep the same image ratio. However, if you want to change the height and width independently, you have to click the allow distortion option and then you can change each value independently. And also, if you wanted to crop part of the image, you can specify in these text boxes here how much you want to crop from the left, right, top and bottom of the image. For now, I'll just click Cancel to return back to the layout page. Another thing that you may wish to do whilst you're inserting your image and moving it around on the page is to view some grid lines and rulers. 
And these are tools within Prism that are there to help you whilst moving around your images on the layout page. And to view this, you want to go to view, and then underneath there's rulers and there's grids. So I'll click rulers first, and then notice now that there's a ruler now across the top and across the side of the layout page. So now you can easily see how big each picture is on that page. And another thing is if we want to view the grids, we go to view grids, and notice you'll see that there's dotted grids in the background of the image. And these can be very useful when you want to space the images out equally on the page. Notice that these grid lines and these rulers will not be present when you export the image. It's purely just for your reference. And if you don't want to view the rulers and the grids anymore, you go back to view and untick rulers and grids. So in this video tutorial, you have learned how to insert pictures into Prism. And inserting pictures in Prism is useful, especially when you want to create multi-panel figures for a manuscript. Did you like this video? Be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when a new video is added.